The last library we're going to look at is React Viz. And React Viz, the cost is about 316 kilobytes. It supports TypeScript partially. It has a modular. Um, it doesn't have mock data. It's simple to implement and it's styled. The documents are good, the examples are good. Um, there's a large number of contributors. And it's the least popular out of all the libraries that I showed you. If you look at GitHub, you could see that there's about 820 forks, close to 8,000 um, that started. The issue number is really significant. There's 285 um, open issues. And at the same time, you have a lot of contributors. Um, so working with this library a little bit, you could see that why there's so many issues because a lot of the code is somewhat inconsistent. So when you look at the code, it's not, it doesn't look like it was built by one team or one person. It looks like a lot of people put code in and it looks like a lot, you know, a lot of it came out very inconsistent. Um, if you look at React Viz, they have a website. It's uber.github.io slash React Viz. And they have example, they have um, documents, um, they have a storyboard, they have all kind of um, um, link here that can help you build your chart. Um, what we're going to be building is just a simple line chart. Um, it's almost like we're building in a low world because I'm going to just use um, very little code uh, for the uh, mock data. We're just going to create uh, inline some code. So let's take a look. In terms of installation, just use uh, yarn and add uh, React Viz and the types of React Viz for TypeScripts, and then we can uh, create our component. Um, go into the component folder and create a new folder, and we'll call um, we'll call our component um, React um, simple React Viz chart. And let's create also a file and we'll call it the same simple react viz chart dot tsx and let's create our function component. We don't need any props, we're just gonna put the data in line and we need to return our we're going to put an empty div for now. Um, remember to import React from the React library. And we need to export our default return. Okay. Um, now, inside of the div, um, what we can do, actually, we don't even need a div. We can just put an empty tag and then um, we can use what they call XY plot and the XY plot um, that's like the wrapper um, for chart and we need to set a width and a height so we can just put you know any values we want just to populate something and then um, what we need to do is we need to add what they call the line series so the line series um, is going to create for us the line. Let's see, it's not importing it. Let's see why. We may have to do it manually. Yeah, it's not importing it. So you can just edit manually. Line series. Okay. Um, and then, so that will generate the line. So you see everything is module based. And then if we want a grid, we can just create a vertical um, grid lines. That will create us a vertical grid line. And if we want horizontal grid line, you just do the same, just horizontal grid line. To create our X, um, our X axis and Y, Y axis and the X axis, you can just add that module as well. So x axis um, 
and y axis just like rechart right similar to rechart and then this all those needs to be wrapped in the wrapper so we need to close it with the wrapper which was xy plot and let's just align it neatly okay um, now the only thing we need to do is we need to pass some data so from for the data inside of the line theory it's called data and then it expect an array so we can just generate something um, just so we have some data I have already some data ready for us so we can just test you can see it's just X and Y for the metrics and with some values so for the X it's just running numbers and for the Y um, just some random numbers to generate our chart and last thing is we need to remember to edit to our app so go to app.tsx and let's add our component now if you go to localhost and refresh this is not exactly what we expected take a look at everything and the reason this happened I want you to um, inside of the component we need to import their style so inside of the node module react vs library there's a style file that that will style our chart correctly look if you go and refresh now it's styled correctly so you can overwrite um, you know the default but if you don't um, import their style it's just not gonna um, style it correctly so as you can see in the code it's really simple you're just adding elements that works as module and it's really easy to create and easy to work with um, and um, however take into account that there's a lot of open bugs and the code is not very consistent so um, if you need to start doing customization and to start work with it you may find yourself um, having to really fork and do a lot of work just to get what you want working right